Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, uh, COVID edition. We're still locked down for COVID, but it's also our new year edition, 2021, starting our 13th year broadcasting here at Central Valley Talk, uh, meeting so many different people from authors to artists to, to musicians, uh, 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 real, real estate agents, uh, home improvement, people in home improvement, all kinds of things going on. But we wanted to start off the 2021 with maybe getting our lives in order. I mean, we're sitting around at home half the time because we can't go anywhere. So now maybe it's time to take another look at our lives, our finances, where we're putting the money. And we've asked an expert to come in, Sammy Franco, to come in because you're an expert on this stuff. And I know nothing about it. Just talking beforehand, I realized I know so little about it, where to put the money, where not to put it, where you can take tax advantages and stuff like that. First of all, who should be planning like this? Well, really, Mike, everybody should be. And so when it boils down to it, it's never too early and it's never too late. So the biggest thing uh, that I've noticed is the gap in education or the gap in knowledge. Right. And so we tell people three things. There's three types of people. There's the informed, there's the uninformed, and then there's the misinformed. And so there's a like lot of, of all of those people yeah. around. Uh, but the normal people, you know, like you and I or anyone else who is just trying to figure out where they're going, there's a huge gap. There's a huge yeah. gap in, in what they know and what they don't know. Even like the five or six things you mentioned, I have no idea about any of those. Um, so uh, I got two ideas. One is I'm going to call you and ask you a million questions. And another, you said maybe there's a course or some training people could have. Yeah, throughout the, the beginning of the year, um, a partner of mine and myself, we're going to be doing some free financial literacy courses like webinars. Okay. And so um, you can find those uh uh, well, you guys think you guys are going to post the flyer, but my number's on there. My email's on the screen. Okay. Uh, give me a call. I'd love to, to get anybody signed up for those. Okay. And it's just great information for beginners to people who might know some of the stuff but are looking to advance okay. their knowledge a little bit. Yeah, and I like the idea of free. Yeah. That's nice. And I, I'm thinking just listening to you a little bit is, is the consumer needs a little bit of knowledge. You're, gonna, you're the expert. Um, but it seems like somebody could be taken advantage of if they have no knowledge. They just go in and they sell them a bunch of products and stuff. And well, 100 percent. And, you know, the main thing that the people don't realize is even inside your employer, if they offer you like a deferred plan, mm. a pension, a 401k, something like that, a lot of people really don't know how those work right. uh, or an uh, alternative to those. And so we help to educate them on how those work, some safe alternatives or tax advantage alternatives right. that, that get you in, in a lower tax bracket because in, in your retirement, it's not what you make, it's what you take in income. What you take out of that. Well, mm -hmm. tell me about it. Is there a way, I mean, normal working stiff with a day job, they work eight to five, they work for a company and they might get some retirement account. Are, is there any way for them to get a tax break? Oh, 100%. So through, I mean, there's different ways. There's uh, you, everybody's heard of a Roth IRA, mm. you know, but not not everybody can maximize that. Uh, you can start those with nothing. Uh, there's also life insurance plans that uh, you can start with the same amount as you can start with a Roth. It really just expands on, uh, depends on the amount of risk exposure you're looking for. Um, a lot of the, the safer avenue, and especially during times like this where things might be a little volatile, some people are loving the, the life insurance retirement plans. Mm. Uh, some people love the Roth IRA. Some people have traditional IRAs that want to convert but don't realize that when they convert to that Roth IRA, they've got to pay that tax lump sum up front. Oh, boy. And yeah. so it, there's, there's all, all sorts of things to right. think about. And so there, there's never a one-size-fits-all. Right. But I just even just talking about those things, People are so misinformed. Or you said there's three things, misinformed or uninformed. Or misinformed, something. uninformed, and informed. Now, if they're doing this through their company, can they still talk to you about it? Oh, 100%. Okay. Now, the company plans are, uh, don't get me wrong, if, if your company gives you a 401K and they're giving you a match, I always suggest take the match. That's, take it. it would say it's free money. Yeah. You know, nothing is ever free. It'll come back to them in some way or another. And a 401k is it benefits the employer by giving them a tax deduction. So mm -hmm. whatever they match you, they get to write off double. Write it off, yeah. Yeah, and or so okay. yeah, they get to write off double. So every dollar they give you, they write off two. And but and you're it, getting a free dollar. Yeah, yeah, you are. And so that's a great way to build tax free. But what people people always have a plan of accumulation, mm. but they don't always have a plan of distribution. Right. And so when you start to take money out of a tax deferred plan, a lot of people that I speak with are unaware that, oh, that money is not all, all that money is not mine. Right. And so they, they don't really have a plan of taxes. And so some people who may be risk adverse 
are going to try to figure out a way to convert that over time into a tax-free strategy. Now, let me ask you this, because I think about this a lot, is a young couple, they're 25, 30 years old, they just got married, they're having their first kid, they don't have a lot of money to be buying all these things. Is there a way they could get into something and start building some security for the future? Oh, 100 percent. And that's why we like to, you know, when we do sit down with someone or a potential client, uh, we, we'd like to do a financial review to see where they're at and whatever they're comfortable with. We, there's never any pressure for anything uh, that someone can't afford because in the end it doesn't benefit anyone if they can't keep up with it. It's not going to benefit them long term. So there's, there's a way to go and there's something called the, the financial risk pyramid. And so the base of everything is should be protecting your family, number mm -hmm. one. So if you're a young family, just bought a house, have a child, number one thing on, in my book would be life insurance. Okay. And so if you lose your job or you lose your life, your, your assets are protected by the life insurance. And then you start building your slow savings accounts, mm -hmm. some aggressive investing, so a little bit of everything. But there's some really cool investment apps that let you buy, like, uh, percentages of stocks, you know, instead of having to buy a whole share of Tesla, you can buy like a, a half a share or a quarter of a share, right. uh, as well as, you know, funneling money into a safe account, you know, that's that, you know, some of these life insurance uh, products are great because they, they give you no risk of the down market. So they, most of them carry zero floors, where if the market takes a loss, it locks you in at a zero floor, but you also gain on an index, in an index strategy. So it mirrors market gains up to a certain cap. Well, I tell you, when I was young and starting out with my family, we had so little money, I had a couple hundred dollars, but I thought just to talk to somebody, you're going to have to pay them and this and that. But it sounds like it's free to talk no, to you. No, just to talk to me, the service is always free. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. And you might say, get out of here. You don't have any money here. There's always some little place to start, huh? Yeah, there's always somewhere to start. We've had people start with as little as $50 a month. You know, uh -huh. now something wow. like that would... You know, would over time, you know, as you progress in your career, yeah. everybody's going to want to, yeah, as you go up in salary or go up in, in wage, you're going to want to always plan to save a certain percentage of your income. Well, the thing is, those without any plan, you know, they, they get a raise and then they go out and buy a, a boat or a better car or something like that. But maybe they ought to think about it. Well, buying assets isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, having assets in retirement is great because they hold value. But if you buy an asset that depreciates, like, then, a boat. like a boat or a car or something like that, then, yeah. then you don't really, you're not really planning. So you can, you can plan to fail or you can just fail to plan. Yeah. And so when you make a good plan and you sit down with someone who can actually give you some strategies to get where you want to go, mm -hmm. then you're on to something. Yeah, very good. Well, uh, first thing it sounds like is they should talk to you. Yes, 100%. Free to talk to you, free, free to find out. Don't worry if you don't have any money this month or next month. You know, Sam might say, well, just try to get $100 together in a couple of months or mm -hmm. something. There's always a route. Oh, but yeah. uh, don't end up like me, 61 years old with almost nothing. <laughs> Is it too late for me? Not at all. You know, there's, there's always a way for someone to get started, you know. And, and so I always tell everybody it's, an, it's never too late to get started. But I always tell people it's never too early. So we've, we've helped people start plans for their, their babies who are just born. You know, so you can start saving Israel. Obviously, you can't get into like a Roth IRA or something like that until you have earned income. Mm. So they have to be a little bit older for that. But you can definitely start a tax-free account like through life insurance mm -hmm. for a child who's just born. Okay. You know, grandparents can start them for grandchildren. Parents mm -hmm. can start them for their, for their own children. You can also start one for yourself. It doesn't really matter the age. It's just whether it makes sense for you. Like I said, nothing is a one-size-fits-all. So something might make sense for me but not for you or for a 16-year-old. You just gave me an idea because each Christmas, the grandparents always say, oh, what, do you, what does your kid want? Oh, a bike or this or that. And they get some toys that are gone in a couple months. And why not set up something like that? Let the grandparents do it. It doesn't have to be the parents. You know, it's funny. My, my brother just did that. And I, I mentioned that. My, one of my brothers called me, and he's always been interested in talking about what I do. Mm -hmm. But it's, sometimes it's really weird to talk finance with family. Yeah. And so he finally called me and said he's got grandkids that are one and three. Yeah. And he said, I, you know, I really want to give them something that's going to help them, not just a yeah. toy or something right. like that. So he, he got them on a great path for the future, for wow. sure. Yeah. That's great. That's a great story, Sammy. I like that. Anyway, you came here to talk about stuff. I have all these questions that I wanted <laughs> to ask. Is there anything we're not covering? No. I mean, the, the main thing was is I wanted to, to, to offer our services for free. Okay. We've got some webinars. One is actually this weekend on the 10th, and it's at 5 p.m., um, you can call me or uh, my email address is up on the screen. Send me an email. I can get you the link for it. It's free of charge. I, advi I 
tell people, bring a friend, bring your teenager. We love to educate kids on yeah. financing and saving uh, the difference between simple interest and in like a, a B of A or Wells Fargo account as opposed to finding an account that can pay you compounding interest. Could you imagine if at 14 or 15 or 16 you got and started putting money away, how much you'd have by now? Huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, I wrote a great policy for a 16-year-old who uh, uh, is at her job, and she's already a key, very responsible, already a key holder, uh, doing good things. She lives, she actually lives in, in Kansas, uh, in Missouri, in Kansas City, Missouri. But I helped her set up a, a very, like a good policy, and she's only paying 100 bucks a month. And she was throwing 300, 400 bucks a month into just a regular savings account. Mm -hmm. And so when I showed her, you know, the difference of, well, they're paying you a half percent on your money, because banks, they make money with your money, right? Mm -hmm. So we basically empowered her to do the same thing that they're doing with her own money. Their own uh, money, yeah. way over half a percent. Oh, yeah. Especially in the long run, huh? In the long run. So she's, I mean, if she's, I mean, retirement age just got bumped to 67. Wow. But if she's, you know, even if she takes it out to 60, I mean, just that's the supplemental She'll be line a supplemental. millionaire. Of, yep, and it'll be tax free. That's the thing. Oh it's, it's in a tax advantage plan. This is why you need to talk to Sammy Franco, <laughs> you guys. Tax free. Um, anyway, he's a licensed financial professional. Uh, call him at the number on the screen: two five zero five six eight zero. But sign up for the seminar, which is free. 100% free. Yeah, do it at home. It's COVID safe. In fact, I want to talk about that. Everything you do is COVID safe. Yeah, right you now, know, right? we, we are COVID compliant. So we do everything through Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, we do have an office, and sometimes people, you know, they love the face to face yeah. interaction when you're dealing. So we do. Uh, we do social distance. We wear masks when we have meetings, and but everything right now primarily is through Zoom. Uh, so yeah, it, it's 100% safe. But somebody should not think, well, it's COVID. I better wait till it's over. They better get going. This right is now actually the right have... time to okay. do it, you know, because um, it, it's it's a great time where people are. You have time sitting at home, and just like you said, you're thinking about what you should be doing. And so uh, this this first webinar is actually titled the New Year's Resolution. So a lot of, and I've asked a lot of people, hey, what do you want to get accomplished this year? And their first thing is, I want to save more money, or I want to get my financial house in order. Well, it all starts with just getting educated about it. Now, I, I know we're way out of time, but just one quick thing popped in my head. People are getting these checks for $600. Earlier, they got them for 12 And this is extra money for a lot of people. Maybe they, that's a good way to get started. 100, and it's great that you bring that up because the last time around, there was a gentleman that I met, a young, young guy, probably about 19 years old. What took the, he had the benefit of getting the, the income from the unemployment. Yeah. He still kept, like, he was working a couple days a week. He, he was fortunate enough to have, not have a lot of bills that other people have. Mm -hmm. So he took all of that money that he got from unemployment and also the stimulus check that he was able to get. And he's actually started himself a few plans. Nice. Uh, and he, wow. took, he didn't waste it. You know, he didn't go out and buy. And, and, you know, by all means, it's your money. You do what you want with it. Yeah. But it, you are 100% right. You can take that and do something great for yourself. And this may be the one time in all of history that you just get a bam, a big plate of money. In, exactly. You know, and it could take care of you uh, when you retire. That 100%. That little money, good. Sammy Franco is our guest. Uh, call him up at 559-250-5680. Uh, find out about this. It's free to talk to him. Look how easy he is to talk to. Also, I appreciate <laughs> that, Sammy. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.